Mexico's first official call-up under our new manager, Javier Aguirre, has been released. And in today's video, we're going to review the roster. Hopefully, we have some good things to talk about, not too many bad things. And I'll just give you all my general thoughts. Let's see if we're turning over a new leaf here or if it's going to be more of the same. If I seem a little low energy, it's because I've been let down by this national team far too many times. You're not going to get me again. Before we pull up the roster, guys, if you like videos about the Mexican national team in English, make sure you hit subscribe, drop a like on the video if you could and give me your grade for this roster down below in the comments i'll be giving you all my own grade at the very end let's get into it goalkeepers we have luis malagon rangel and alex padilla i actually quite like this trio i don't have a single negative thing to say i feel like the acevedo shouts have been taken out back and murdered we're probably never going to see that man again and honestly i'm tired of talking about him without him ever playing for mexico so it's probably best if we just close the door i'm honestly a little surprised that Julio Gonzalez was not called up because he was our starting goalkeeper at the godforsaken Copa America. But I'm not necessarily disappointed he's not here. I mean, he's 33 years old. We just need something else. Now, if I was the Mexican national team manager, God willing, one day, I would be starting Alex Padilla because this is a friendly window against Canada and New Zealand. We don't really have anything to lose. So why not give the young kid who's been balling at Bilbao at least one 90 minutes here? If you want to go Malagón one game, Padilla the next, I'm okay with that. But if Padilla doesn't get any minutes, I'm going to be a little pissed off. The only omission I'm sort of disappointed is Tapia, but for the goalkeepers that we have available in the pool, I'm going to go A-. minus. Next up, the defenders. We have Julina. Oh, my God. Big surprise here. Alan Mosso has returned to the national team. Julian Araujo, Israel Reyes, Cesar Montes, Johan Vasquez, Victor Guzman, Jesus Angulo, and Jesus Gallardo. I'm starting to hate the name Jesus. So, no Arteaga. Interesting. No Kevin Alvarez. No Rodrigo Huescas, unless he's listed later on as a forward. Okay, good news. Araujo's in the team. Alan Mosso. I've never really been blown away by him at Chivas, but I also think he looks like a very solid player when I watch them, so I'm okay with him getting a shot, you know, a little redemption arc here. Israel Reyes, I think he's underrated. Cesar Montes, Johan Vasquez, those are the center back pairings. No surprise there at all. Victor Guzman, I'm okay. I would like him to get a full 90 as well here. Jesus Gallardo and Angulo to me is just a uh, complete waste. Both guys have too many caps. They've had too many opportunities, especially Gallardo. We have nothing left to learn from including these guys those are two wasted spots oh jack you just hate tigres no i don't i just don't like jesus angulo you gotta have rodrigo Jescas in here like that to me is an abomination it's an abomination that he is not included i guess it is a good thing that jorge sanchez is not here i will take that as a dub but in classic mexican fashion we can't seem to have an entirely good call up at any point in time like why are we making the right decisions at the right back position and then completely fumbling the left back. No Huescas, no Arteaga, no Armar Campos. Those are travesties. Defensive grade, I'm going to go B minus. I think we did the right thing at the center backs here. I think that's like the easiest position in the Selección to choose from. Right back, at least there's a little excitement, introdu introduction of a new character. And then left back is just trash. Midfielders, we have Luis Romo as the first name listed. God give me the strength. Fidel Ambriz, I doubt he'll even play. Eric Lira from Cruz Azul, Charlie Rodriguez, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Luis Chavez, Sebastian Cordova, and Oberlin Pineda. I'm going to say right now, Romo shouldn't be here. Eric Lira, sure, whatever, but I'm not particularly excited. Charlie Rodriguez is an embarrassment to the country. Oberlin Pineda, I'm going to be honest, he probably should be serving a 10-match ban for the national team. Like, we don't need him. Again, these are friendlies against Canada and New Zealand. I promise you for at least one game looking at this, we are going to start Luis Romo, Charlie Rodriguez, and probably Luis Chavez. That's going to be our starting midfield for one of these games. Eric Lira is like a defensively minded midfielder. Again, it's just not a position that we need help in or need to be looking for alternatives. So why is that the new guy being introduced here? For the love of God, where is Jordi Cortizo? Even Jordan Carrillo, I mean, something that's a little little more exciting and addresses an actual need in the team. We're good at CDM. We don't need anybody else there. Unless you're going to drop Luis Chavez and start Eric Lira. Is that the game plan? I don't even have anything against Eric Lira personally. I just would not have chosen him 
over the field. This is the exact stuff that I see when people are always like, Jack, I don't know why you're mad. Mexico doesn't have anybody else to call up. I just would urge you to look at this midfield list and really ask yourself, is this the best pool of talent available in Mexico? The answer is a resounding no. We just don't have the balls or the intelligence or both to call up who we need to call up. Yeah, so for midfield, I'm going C minus, D plus. This is embarrassing. At the forwards, it's looking a little better, although I do see Henry Martin down there, Santi Jimenez, Memo Martinez, Chino Huerta, Marcelo Flores, Piojo, Quinones, and Diego Lainez. No Antuna is the first thing popping out at me, which I am, of course, in favor of. Although I do think he should be still like a second or third winger option for the Mexican national team. He just can't start in a game of relevance or against any team that is good. Henry Martin coming back. I mean, I really want to say this is stupid, but if we're being objective about it, and I know it's very difficult to do this with the Mexican nine position, Santi Jimenez has not done enough. If you're going to be mad at anybody for Henry Martin being here, you need to be mad at Santi Jimenez. Maybe you can point some of that blame at Jim Lozano as well and, you know, Tata Martino for not giving Santi more, more opportunity. But the fact is that Santi's been... Very, very disappointing for us. He's had a lot of chances to lock this position away, and he hasn't taken it. And because of that, he is forcing you, I, and your beautiful family, and whoever else is going to watch the Canada-New Zealand game, probably see 45 to 60 minutes of Henry Martin. In fact, Henry Martin will probably start one of the games. I am very glad that Chino Huerta's in here. You guys know I'm a big fan of his, and even though y'all think that he sucks ass for some reason, Marcelo Flores, I think, has been quite good good actually for Tigres and I think it's time to kind of reintroduce him to La Sele. It's been a while since he he got a good amount of minutes for us. I would even start him in a game. I would like to see Quinones, Santi, and Lainez one game and then Marcelo, Santi, and Chino to start the second game. That'd be like a dream scenario for me. The only forward omission that I kind of have some beef with is Chuka Lozano. I do think he should be back in here because I think he's had a good start to life this season uh, at PS and quite frankly, is anybody honestly so freaking good right now, so informed that there's not an argument for Chucky to be here? Do we really need to bring three strikers? Why are we bringing three nines to this? Just bring two, throw Chucky back in. I'm not super mad about it. Like, I'm not going to lose sleep about it tonight. That was just, if I was being really picky, that's what I would highlight. So overall, for the forwards, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this an A minus because like I said, I don't really have a lot of gripes here. For the roster overall, it doesn't have as much change as I would like to see. I'm going to give it a B minus rating. I do not think it is terrible. I think we need to look on the bright side with a couple call-ups here, but I also think that Aguirre could destroy any optimism by just playing the same starting 11 that goddamn Tata Martino was playing two years ago. Like, there's some potential with these players to try out something genuinely creative and innovative. I just have doubts that we're going to see that because we've seen this in the past where, yeah, we'll call up a Jordan Carrillo or, yeah, we'll call up Fidel Ambriz or, yeah, we'll call up Julian Araujo and then they just don't play. Never forget when we went through the entire 2023 Gold Cup and barely gave any of the young guys opportunity in the definition of a Mickey Mouse tournament. So I just have zero faith that despite this being a friendly window after the Copa America where you should be experimenting, where there's really not much to gain or lose from any participating teams, I think we're going to play it safe because that's what Mexico does. We have our Vacas Sagradas and we just lean on them and doesn't matter how many times they let us down, we're going to keep going back to them. So those are my thoughts on the lineup. You guys let me know what you think down below. Are you excited? Are you sad? Do you not feel anything at all? Are you completely numb? Let me know down below in the comments. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe for more videos about the Mexican national team in English. I'm going to try to do a live stream for at least one of the friendlies coming up in the September window. Guys, just make sure you follow us on social media. The links are in the description so you know like announcements for live streams and all that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.